If you could know the exact time and date of your own death, would you choose to read that little spoiler? Let's talk about it. What if the Grim Reaper offered you a glance at his collection schedule? Or indeed, what if near future wrist gadgetry or some sort of medical implant gave you a realistic breakdown of your mortality? Would you dare scroll down past the spoiler alert and read the date of your inevitable demise? You might not, and it's all because of a little something called information aversion. You've encountered it before. Heck, you've experienced it before. Uncertainty can be maddening, but it still offers the comfort of ambiguity. That quantum state in which the bad news doesn't quite exist yet. If we don't actually go to the doctor, then we don't have to hear any of those dreaded words of doom. And if the waiter doesn't tell us there's chicken broth in the soup, well, we can still believe it might be vegetarian. Cancer, betrayal, bankruptcy, la 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 la. It's human nature, sure, but it's also a hurdle to public health. How do doctors skirt the defenses of information aversion in order to better treat patients and deliver the often ill tidings that come with their profession? A 2014 study from Claremont Grad graduate university dived into just this question by studying student reactions to STD tests. Here's how it all broke down. Students in the study were told that blood would be drawn and could be tested for two strains of herpes simplex virus, HSV1, which causes cold sores, and HSV2, which affects the genitals. Students in the study were given a full graphic breakdown on what HSV1 and HSV2 do to you. Students were then given the choice of having their blood tested for herpes, with the results to be given in full confidentiality, of course, and then they were given the option of turning down the HSV-1 test and could also turn down the HSV-2 test, but only if they paid a $10 fee, thus putting an actual price tag on ignorance. The results? Well, 5% of those students chose to dodge the HSV-1 test, while three times as many paid the fee to watch their blood dribble down a sink drain instead of finding out if HSV-2 was in their system. The most common excuse that the students gave was they didn't want to stress themselves out. Because, yes, it's better to have a sexually transmitted disease and not know about it than to have a definitive answer. So to be clear, they paid to avoid the information. Not the needle, their blood was going to be drawn either way. Now what does this tell us about information aversion? Well, according to the researchers, frightening implications can scare people into the comforting arms of ignorance. So perhaps scare tactics, particularly about health matters, are a poor strategy. Likewise, when testing like this is an anomaly, it's a dread figure on the horizon. Make tests like this more routine, and you take some of the fear out of it. They become mere tests, not the test. So what about you? If you could push a button on your phone or keyboard and magically know if you had an STD or not, would you do it? Or is ignorance bliss? And in what other areas of your life do you see information aversion in action? Let me know in the comments below and make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can keep these videos coming at you.